Hi guys, Dave and Nat here from uh, Days of Glory Shopworks and on this episode we are going to be starting a new project. This is one that we've been waiting on for a good six months to, well actually a good year and a half since we spied this truck out. And you may remember uh, several episodes ago we hauled it in on a trailer and uh, it's a 1968 Fargo half ton. Uh, it's a Fargo 100, so same thing as a Dodge D100 from 1968. Here it is. The paint is in pretty good shape for being original. A little bit of patina on the roof, on the hood. No engine. We got no engine, Ted. <laughs> it's echoey. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So Nat, what are we gonna put in this thing? A 400 big block. All right. So we took the 400 big block out of my 89 Dodge half ton. Didn't really like it in there anyway. It was fun, sounded great, but low on power. And uh, I'm giving that truck to my daughter for graduation this year. She's graduating, she's 18, blows my mind. But uh, we talked it over and she would rather have a hopped up small block in there. So we're going to build one of those on a future episode and slide that in between the frame rails and get that truck up and running again. Are, so what are we going to do to this thing first? We are going to go through all of the brake system and make sure that all the brakes are there. And from there, we're going to clean up some of the wiring. It's actually not hacked up. Uh, I'm kind of blown away at that actually. So, uh, thankfully, we've got a lot to work with here. Um, the truck is basically complete. Now, you guys might notice that it was missing the driver's door, but... We have it outside. Same thing with the tailgate. And truck box, though it's showing its age, it's solid. It's not rusted out. The truck's pretty good. So, inside... You can see the driver's floor there. Note the patented seat for moving it around with a towing vehicle. Uh, the driver's floor is rusted and hacked out, but the rest of it's solid. Needs a good cleaning, but the rest of it's solid. So we're going to put a floor pan in it. And we have to put two rocker panels in it. This one's somewhat there, but really just in spirit. And the driver's side one's been hacked off. Um, we have basically... 98% of all the parts to do this truck so the eight and three quarter rear diff is currently a it was empty when we got it but right now it's sporting the uh, 321 uh, shear sure grip 323 sorry from uh, that 71 Chrysler Imperial we scrapped uh, way back in the fall and from there We've got all the grill sheet metal and everything we need. We don't have the proper front bumper, but we do have a front bumper. And we're not worried about the body right now, aside from rocker panels and driver's floor. The fenders, you can see there's no rust or rot in them. They're really clean and tidy. Uh, we do have some rust to deal with here. This is very typical on these cabs. Uh, water and leaves and everything will pool down here and just open them up like a, like a rusty old can. Both sides need to be done, but we're waiting on that. Um, so, a gas tank. We are going to flush it and clean it out. That's right. It's in pretty good shape. There's no rot along the bottom. Now, we can't be certain. Obviously, there's going to be some varnish and some junk inside of it. We're going to clean it all out, steam it, and make it good to go. And uh, from there, we got to, like, you know, repaint some of the dash trim a little bit. But everything is really good. Now... Rare option for me, I've never seen it before, and this is one of the things Natalie spied out when she saw this truck. It's an automatic on the dash. I've only ever seen these trucks with the four speed on the floor uh, or three speed on the tree. The automatic on the dash is cool, and it's actually a cable shift, and the cable still works. 1968, and the cable still works, runs smooth. So, overall, that's the basics of it. We're going to go through, go through all the brakes, make sure they work good. We're going to clean the fuel tank out of it. 
We're going to uh, put together all the little bits of the interior that aren't there, find some kind of carpet to put in it. We got to get a bench seat. I think I know where I can uh, find another truck like this. We can haul the bench seat out of it and recover it. Um, get the driver's door put on, get the floor pans done, rocker panels, that kind of jazz. The rear diff again, clean it out and uh, just go through all the bearings, make sure everything's good to go. And then we're going to put that 400 in it. And of course we can't leave well enough alone, so the 400 is getting a couple upgrades, but you're going to have to wait for another video to find out what those upgrades are. Anyway guys, we really appreciate you and we want you to please stay tuned and follow this build it's going to be fast and fun and we're going to get this thing on the road so natalie can cruise it for the summertime yay thank you guys and hope you enjoy it stay tuned all right that'll do it for this video and see you on the next one